What's up guys? Today we are going to start a process that is going to be a review, review and ice retention test on a lifetime 28 quart cooler. We are currently in a heat wave in Arkansas. Every day it's been over 100 degrees for like close to nine days now straight. We're gonna start the ice retention test like this. I've already loaded it. We're gonna seal it up. I just dropped that ice in there before I started recording. And we're gonna set it out here in the broad daylight in front of my house on the concrete, looking west. And we're gonna let this set here and we're gonna check it tomorrow night at 5.30 and I will give you the temperature then as well. I expect there not to be much ice in there because we started from a hot cooler setting in the garage already at ambient air temperature over 100 degrees. You're supposed to pre-cool ice chest, but that'll give us an idea and it'll give us a baseline. And tomorrow night it will be pre-cooled and we will refill it, fill it with ice and then we'll see how many days from there it will retain ice. All right, guys, we are checking back in at the 24 hour mark. I mean, almost on the nose. Well, I'm actually a little bit surprised. Quite a bit of light. I really expected there to be water today. I'll see you guys again in 24 hours and we probably will be adding ice to do a test with it pre-cooled. All right, guys, we are back to check in today. We just pop the latches. We're gonna open it up now and no ice. Oh, but the water's ice cold. Okay, so it's still pre-cooled. So we made it about 44 hours in a warm cooler out of a hot garage at ambient temperatures. So we're gonna go ahead and pack it up with that new 20 pound bag of ice into a pre-cooled cooler and we're going to test it like that because that's what the manufacturer when they say up to five days ice retention they're talking about perfect conditions with a pre-cooled cooler so we're going to try that now and we'll keep checking back in over the next few days all right we are back at the uh roughly 24 hour mark it is 103 degrees currently with a heat index of 105 so we're gonna crack the seal and see what it looks like Well, you know what, interestingly enough, it doesn't look a whole hell of a lot different than the 14 pounds did going into a warm cooler. So, we will seal it back up and we will check back in tomorrow. All right, we are back um, to test or check the progress of our cooler and got a feeling it's not what I expected. Um. There's a little bit of ice. It is still ice cold water and there is still ice in it. Okay, so these are not the results I expected. With this little test that we've just ran, we got exactly, I mean essentially exactly 48 hours out of non-pre-cooled and pre-cooled. Um, the water is still ice cold as it stands, but, um, 48 hours looks like about the max under pretty extreme conditions. Y'all, we ain't in the Sahara, but it is right now it's 105 and the heat index is 110. I mean, it's been 101 plus the entire four or five days that we've had this thing out here. That to me is impressive, um, for a cooler that's a quarter of the price of a Yeti. You know, I just kind of needed to last me for a whole weekend or maybe a long weekend you know what i mean but anyway that is the test as it stands um i hope you guys enjoyed the video we'll catch you guys later